Hello and welcome to this video introduction to the website of the Zelianople Area Public Library. In this video, we will look at the resources available to you through this digital platform. So the first step in this introduction is to go to the website itself, which is found at zelianopellibrary.org. And here we are at the library's homepage. Most of what we'll be looking at is along the top of the screen, aka the main menu. But for now, it is important to note that this page is the home to special announcements, event and fundraiser news, and to a list of regularly scheduled children's activities. Alrighty, so we've looked at the homepage of the library's website. And now it's time to look at the main menu. Here we'll find most, if not every option this website has to offer. We're going to delve into the main menu by starting at the right and working our way to the left, which means we'll come across social media icons for Twitter and Facebook first. We're not going to go into depth into these two now, but they are nice options for staying connected to the library. The next option we come across in the main menu is the login icon. Once we click on that, we are taken to the Butler County Federated Library System catalog, where we can search for books and other library items. Should we log in with our library card number and the PIN for it, we are also able to put those items on hold or request them to be shipped to our home library. There are of course other options and features along the way. For instance, you can renew what you already have checked out. Moving back to the main menu, we're going to briefly review for the next five sections. The contact, the events, the photos, and the services tabs, respectively. And we're going to begin with the contact tab, which if you click on that, gives you the building's address and the current hours of operation, plus the contact form for sending a simple message to the library staff. And had we clicked on the events tab, we would have been taken to this page, which is simply a list of upcoming library events. Next up was the photos tab, which has pictures of the building, both inside and out, plus pictures from recent events and programs. And the last tab to review briefly is the services tab which has a rundown of the library by mail program. We have to note though, this is far from the complete list of the services we offer. This is just the only one that's listed on this page for the time being. The About Us section of the website is fairly straightforward. If you click on that tab, you'll learn more about the history of the library, its staff, the frequently asked questions, etc. However, it's particularly significant here to mention the our policies page, which has information on borrowing, computer usage, and about reserving the community room for group gatherings. The second to last tab to discuss in the main menu is the books tab. It contains a link to the catalog mentioned before, but also a link to the kids version of that catalog, which is kind of a fun graphics based way to explore the collection of children's materials. Beyond that, there's a link to information about our book clubs, which meet every month at the library. And importantly, a last link to mention is the ebook collection link, which we'll see more about that in another video. But for now, it's important to highlight that there are many ebooks and many audiobooks available to us at any time through the Overdrive platform. As we can see, the last section of this video introduction, eResources, is a doozy. To be as brief as possible about it, we'll simply outline the essentials for now. Keep in mind that offerings in this section come both from the state level and from local levels. In no particular order, the offerings from this section include even more ebooks, audiobooks, and music, the ability to chat with a librarian 24 hours a day, seven days a week databases for those doing research, especially for K-12 students. There's genealogy and local history resources, 
tests and educational resources on the professional development level. Items for learning a foreign language. And of course, there are links to significant organizations like local and federal government groups. Well, that does it for this video introduction to the Zelianople Area Public Library website. If you have any questions, please do contact us as we're here to help you. Thanks.